The very miraculous concept of giving birth is beyond amazing. It's how we all got here. That concept that they teach us as kids about the birds and the bees makes quite a lot of sense for how humans come to existence. Ever thought of how large number of birds go about it? Let's dive into the animal world and check out these flighty creatures that live in a free world of their own. As we start, just head out to the subscribe button and click it and become a subby. Thank you. Naked Mole Rat You'd think that mole rats give birth like any other rats, right? Well, that's not the case. Mole rats are extra special and give birth like the ants. They also live in colonies and the mole rat with the more prominence is Her Majesty the Queen. Once the Queen gives birth, she's treated with the utmost respect. After giving birth to her first litter, she can consequently give birth to many more. The Queen also releases a special poop that's eaten by other mole rats because of the special home. Ew, that's quite the education about mole rats. Seahorse In the undersea world, the seahorse is undoubtedly the most unique parent. We used to believe that females should look after their children, but this aquatic creature's brilliance defies the preconception. During the mating season, the male has the baby in the case of seahorses. It swims up to the female, the two fish snuggle up against each other and the male opens his pocket wide, into which the female throws a few eggs. From 9 to 45 days, the new father carries his future children in a unique pouch on his belly. Scientists have discovered an interesting revelation regarding how the male pocket is directly engaged in the upbringing of babies. It feeds eggs with calcium lipids, oxygen and other nutrients, as well as cleaning the water, according to biologists. The seahorse's job as a father does not end with the caring of the young, as it's made up of products of critical activities. After the fry are born, the male carries them in his pocket for a while, bending his body upward in an arc, opening the pouch and the fry emerges, but they hide there again in case of danger. Short-Eared Elephant Shrew This is going to sound quite strange, but have you ever seen a mouse with an elephant nose? Say hello to the short-eared elephant shrew which is found in South Africa and eats spiders, millipedes and earthworms. This creature has one of the shortest lifespans which is two and a half years and to add on to it that's also a monogamous creature. Together they work hard at protecting their young ones who are born after 45 to 60 days. These young ones are born well developed and they start getting weaned after only five days. After two weeks they can leave their mothers and after another six weeks they're good to have babies of their own. They have some very other interesting characteristics too. They can run at a speed of 18 miles per hour and are extremely hard to catch. Yellowhead Jawfish Many of you are unlikely to have heard of this fish which lives on coral reefs in the Caribbean Sea. Yellowhead jawfish may be found in depths ranging from 3 to 40 meters. The vivid yellowhead and silvery body of this little fish, which is 10 to 12 centimeters in length, makes it easy to identify. Yellowhead jawfish tend to move in small groups of up to 70 individuals across the shallows. In each case, scientists pay special attention to the male individuals of the species, as in the case of seahorses, they make excellent babysitters and breastfeed all of their children themselves, using their lips in a unique manner. The male fertilizes the eggs laid by the female and places them in his massive mouth. It's not simple to raise the children. The guy must abstain from eating for the duration of the nursing phase. Also, in order to provide oxygen to the eggs, he spits it out and sucks them back in on a regular basis, and they're not scattered far away. The paternal instinct of the yellowhead jawfish is deactivated. Unlike that of the seahorse with the arrival of fry, it loses interest in and is unconcerned with the offspring. Kiwi Kiwi is also another interesting species of bird found in New Zealand. They have a very unique look with long beaks and nostrils at the end to aid them in capturing and smelling prey. They lay eggs that are not in equal proportion to their bodies. The eggs are usually six times the size of the normal chicken egg. They're also flightless birds. The females lay eggs that are 20 to 25 percent of their body weight. If we were to compare this to a human, it would mean that a 120-pound woman would give birth to a 28-35-pound to 35 pound baby. It takes 30 days for the eggs to hatch and the females triple their food portion. A few days before laying the egg, there's no more space for food and the kiwi is forced to fast until the chick comes out. Frilled Shark Surprisingly little is known about this ancient shark species among experts. This species was initially reported between 1879 and 1881, but research on it has been sluggish since then. The major cause of the challenges is thought to be the ancient shark's enormous depth. It dwells at a depth of roughly 1,575 meters below the surface in the Atlantic and Pacific seas. 
Due to the existence of primitive traits, the frilled shark resembles a sea snake or eel more than the shark's closest relatives. The frilled shark is known as a living fossil, despite its diminutive size, the highest reported length was around 2 meters. It's hardly unexpected that females of the species are bigger than males. Because this species' pregnancy may last up to three and a half years, they need more stamina to have kids. Unlike other fish that produce a large number of fry, the majority of which do not survive to adulthood, these sharks are concerned with quality rather than quantity. The female of this species has the longest gestation period of any vertebrate, depositing her eggs inside her own body. The offspring grow inside the eggs, eating on the yolk, and only hatch when they are completely developed and capable of surviving on their own. An ancient shark baby is roughly 50 centimeters long when it's born. Unfortunately, scientists have not yet been able to obtain thorough footage of frilled shark birth, but they remain hopeful that a whole documentary series will be filmed in the near future. I'm confident they'll succeed since, with the use of cameras, they just found fresh facts about the birth and growth of whales. Keep an eye out for updates on how it went as well as the birthing of more marine animal pups. Dolphin Many people enjoy dolphins, but have you ever considered how many of these incredible creatures are born each year? Dolphins, unlike other saltwater fish, are viviparous. A female dolphin's pregnancy can last anywhere from 10 to 18 months, depending on the species. It's worth noting that the female component of a dolphin pod surrounds, supports and protects the future mother from predators on all sides. It swims away from the group to give birth, attended by an older female. The so-called godmother will function as a midwife during the birth, and a nurse will care for the infant while the mother eats. Later on, the newborns are solely cared for and nursed by the female members of the pod. By the way, the female can only give birth to and rear one young dolphin at a time for several years. From the first minutes of its existence, the newborn infant strives to swim. Its mother summons it with a scream and nudges it with its nose, pushing the baby to the surface of the water and allowing it to take a breath of air, thereby opening its lungs. The infant becomes acclimated to the water and learns to swim within a few weeks after birth. It'll take three to five months for the newborns to be able to eat on their own. However, because one female cannot have two or more kids at the same time, and new members of the group reach maturity at the age of five, the pod has adequate time to nurture them. Octopus Did you know that octopuses are born from their eggs? Regrettably, this is the most encouraging aspect of octopus reproduction. This group of marine critters females can only bear young once throughout their lives. Therefore, this procedure is crucial for them. Octopuses may be found in all tropical and subtropical seas, as well as oceans with depths of 100 to 150 meters. They love rocky coastal locations where caves and crevices in the rocks can be found. Their future offspring's nest is a hole in the ground surrounded by a rampart of stones and shells. The female makes a nest in a burrow or cave in shallow water after fertilization and deposits up to 80,000 eggs. The female is always looking after the eggs, rinsing them with a spray of water and using her tentacles to remove any foreign items or dirt from the clutch of eggs. Surprisingly, octopuses have outstanding hunting abilities and enjoy nibbling during their active phase of life, yet during the whole period of egg production, the female is left at the nest without nourishment and frequently dies of weariness. Deep-sea octopuses spend several years around their clutch of eggs after giving birth to their kids because of the low water temperature which causes egg development to take a long time. Unfortunately, not every baby makes it to adulthood after hatching. In general, the rate of survival is influenced by the habitat region as well as other factors. Only 1% of the children survive in rare circumstances. Opossum When you see the opossum for the first time, you'll think it's an oversized kitty cat. They're found in the Americas and are the biggest marsupial in the Americas, even though they look like rodents. They have long snouts and rat-like tails. Gestation lasts 10 to 13 days, which is incomparable to the elephant or the frilled shark. They give birth to 20 hairless offspring, and only half of them survive, given that the way the opossum only has room to accommodate 13 of them in her pouch. The babies double in size after only a week, and in another eight weeks they can double in size. The offspring develop fully when they're in their mom's pouches. After five months, they're capable of leaving their mother and fending for themselves. The opossum gives birth around February to June and might have three litters per year. They also have the most diverse diet around. They eat fruit, nuts, grass, but they also eat snakes, worms, rats, and even birds. They sure have an interesting palate. Elephants Elephant moms are super moms. They carry their young ones for 23 months. The elephant's calves are 200 to 300 pounds, making the elephants the only mammal to give birth to an offspring that big. 
They usually give birth while standing up, meaning that the little one hits the ground with a thud as a way of welcome. That said, the baby is in an amniotic fluid sac that prevents any injuries. Within an hour of being born, an elephant offspring can stand on its own. They also drink their mama's milk for close to six years, and it's been proven that elephant milk has more fat than cow milk. Elephants also give birth in the dead of the night, since it's a safer time when predators are not roaming the wild. Armadillo These are excellent creatures that are quite fascinating by their own right. They're found all over America and are known for leathery shells and long claws and can be quite defensive creatures. Female armadillos gestate for up to 120 days, though some species experience delayed implantation. Impregnation occurs after courtship, and it's normal for the males to have more than one mate. Females will dig burrows where the offspring will be weaned. The young ones are not born with a hard shell. It's soft and leathery for the first few days of their life. In time, they harden and develop the armory shell. One species of the armadillo, called the banded armadillo, is known for its interesting reproductive system, where four offspring are born from one egg. For this reason, the specific armadillo is subject to a lot of research and testing. This is quite peculiar. I wonder what kind of research is being done. Whales feeding Researchers were recently able to videotape whales feeding their pups. Because whales are big creatures that may roam over the whole globe's oceans, this procedure is difficult to witness. Scientists from the University of Hawaii, Stanford University and the University of California used cameras to capture footage of humpback whales feeding their young. Female humpback whales give birth to their children in the warm shallow seas of the Hawaiian archipelago each year and nurse them from January to March before embarking on their lengthy journey to Alaska. The researchers wanted to know how often and for how long whale newborns need to eat in order to grow robust enough to migrate in the spring. Suction cups were used to attach special cameras to seven humpback whale newborns. Drones were also deployed to view the whales from the air. According to the researchers, they were able to obtain unique and uncommon film that allows them to examine the feeding process of humpback whales. Experts expect that the information gathered will aid in learning more about the lives of these amazing creatures. Whales in animals, males and females usually establish a stable partnership at least until their children are completely independent. During this period, the mother breastfeeds the babies while the father guards and feeds the family. Things are different though when it comes to whales. The male returns to the pod once the female has been fertilized. Females often bear babies between the ages of 10 and 12, although on average a baby is born 11 months following conception. When the mother prepares to give birth after almost a year of bearing young, there is some evidence of other whales being involved in the offspring's fate. The other females in the pods encircle it and do not leave, aiding in guarding it against predators, much like they do with dolphins. Only one kid is usually born, but it is born with a fully formed layer of fat that is important for the animal's thermal insulation. At the time of emergence, the newborn performs its first act of breathing. The experience of change in the environment triggers the reaction. The baby whale, like other aquatic animals, is unable to swim. It frantically waves its tail, but throughout the first several hours of its life, it isn't able to move an inch. It's powerless and can't even keep afloat since its body mass exceeds the density of water and its lungs haven't grown sufficiently to take in adequate oxygen. That's all for now, people. Have you ever witnessed an animal giving birth? Please let us know in the comments section. Thanks for viewing and we hope to see you again soon. This was quite an interesting list. Turns out that not just humans can boast about an interesting birth process. Which of the ones on this list left you astounded and shocked and fascinated all in one go? Do let us know. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.